the top three games to add to Number three, The Sims. Number two, Baldur's Gate 3. Number one, probably Call to the Lamb. Sorry for censoring there. YouTube can be a bit of a bitch sometimes, you know what I mean? But the reason that we're all here is because Call to the Lamb released a brand new update, the poop update. That's a big poop, what? There are poops everywhere and they are massive. But this is more commonly known as like the sex update, but there's a whole lot more to it than just that. There's also drinking and guns, guys. This is actually what's led a lot of people to calling it the America update, and it's pretty easy to see why. But before we get into all of the new stuff with the update, if you're brand new here or you've never even heard of Call to the Lamb, let me give you a brief synopsis of what this game is about. So obviously it's about a lamb. However, this lamb is about to be executed because there's these four bishops that read a prophecy that a lamb was destined to defeat them all and strike them down and take their place. So they did the only sensible thing and just killed every lamb in existence. And I know I've heard of this somewhere before. I can't quite put my finger on it. But it does strike me a lot as to what the Fire Nation did to the airbenders in Avatar. And we all know how well that turned out. Lesson learned, stop making prophecies. They just lead to genocide. So you run through all the dungeons and you kill all the bosses. And at the very end, you take on the guy who resurrected you in the first place to take them all down in his name. And along the way, you create your own little village with all these little cult members. And they wait on you hand and foot and they think you're just the best ever unless you forget to feed them. And then again, they poop everywhere. Like, like literally everywhere. Guys, stop pooping everywhere. And then that's where the base game would end. When it released, that was a really full complete game and it was a lot of fun. But Devolver Digital didn't stop there. There was another major update that came out not too long ago where they added a whole lot more things to do. It was essentially a new game plus where you could go through each of the dungeons and fight all the bosses again and bring them into your cult to be members too. They also added like relics and this like purgatory mode. But one of my favorites is where you can like summon some undead soldiers to follow you around. Uh, two, three, four. And so like as there was a boss that kept trying to kill me, I kept summoning soldiers to just keep running into him taking all of the bullets. It was kind of awesome actually. There was a lot more that came into that update that really gave it a lot of replayability. So after that major update, you gotta think where do they go from there? And that's where this one comes in, Sins of the Flesh. And what doesn't this one have? Sex, drugs, rock and roll? Wait, no, that's not right. Sex, guns, and alcohol. That's just a Saturday in Alabama. But the big points that people are seeing here is like they added a bar where you can get some drinks and have all of your cult members gather around and get drunk and then they fight each other. <laughs> And then if you break up the fight, they get all mad because they really want to fight. Though if you let them fight each other, they almost kill each other. It's kind of awesome, actually. The gun is added as a weapon that you can run through the regular dungeons with, along with your axes and your daggers and your swords. It's got a really fast recharge, but if you shoot it too quick, it looks like it gets jammed. And I think that's just the funniest little animation that they added. And of course, the sex tent. And people were like, bro, how are you going to add this without making the game rated M? I mean, look at what The Sims did. All they do is throw a bedsheet over them and go, Yoo-hoo! <laughs> and that's woohooing or whatever. It also helps that they don't use the word sex. They like call it breeding, which I don't think is too much better. I think the internet ruined the word breed for me. And all of these new things that they added revolve around this consumable that they call sin. Each of these activities boosts the sin within your cult members that you can like drain out of them in the form of a snake. And then you can use that sin to build new things or start new activities like breeding. And that's what everybody knows this update for, but there's actually so much more to it too. Like when you first unlock the sin feature, you get two choices. One where all of your cult members go a la mode. Look at them all, they're all naked. Dude, they all have little butts too. Wait, look at their little butts. <laughs> or you can have them all just have a giant fist fight with each other and just brawl it out and then end up breaking everything. There's also new things to collect, like little lore messages as you're running through all the dungeons, and they're really, really creepy. That's ominous. Like, I don't know about you, but if I picked that up, I... Uh... 
I don't know. I'm putting it right back where I found it. Imagine finding a note like this anywhere else. Like, hey, little Jimmy, what'd you do at school today? Oh, I just, you know, wrote a little report. Here you go, dad. Oh, what does this say? Son, we're taking you to the therapist. Yay! There's also this drum circle that you can get everybody around and dance to, and it's essentially like a really dumbed down version of like Guitar Hero. And it's not meant to be hard, but it is fun. And they got some fire beats in there, bro. There's a clothing shop now where you can get different consumables and items to create clothing for each individual cult member, including a maid dress, because of course there's a maid dress. But I mean, who would be ridiculous enough to wear a maid dress, right? You guys ready to play? Peppa Pig World Adventures. Oh, I'm so ready for this. What I think makes this game really funny is when you take your cult members and name them after either your friends or maybe people that you recognize, characters that you know from fiction, but it also makes it equally as awkward. Because now when I try to make a cult member that's like modeled after myself and I try to do the breeding tent with another cult member that's named after my girlfriend, it turns out we have a really bad compatibility but you know who she does have a good compatibility with? Gary. Why? I don't know, but it doesn't make me feel good about myself. I hate Gary now. Screw Gary. I'm gonna go sacrifice Gary. Wait, 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 wait. Ah! But with any sort of breeding, whether it's in real life or video games, you're gonna have the consequences. And in this case, it's a baby. <laughs> yes, this game has babies now for some reason, and you need to care for them every single day or else they get neglected. And for some reason, the babies are just so ugly. Ew! Ew! What the fuck? Like, God, I've never wanted to hit a baby more. I can say that, right? Like, that's not gonna get me demonetized. Like, is that... But there's a ton of other little small details in this update that I haven't even come across yet, and I'm still exploring and discovering for myself. When I first reviewed Cult of the Lamb, I gave it outstanding praise because I genuinely enjoyed it and think it's a lot of fun. Whether you're somebody who's a fan of the dungeon crawling aspect or somebody who just likes to make a little cult and pick up people's poop, there's a little something for everybody. But the new Cult of the Lamb update is out now, so go check it out. It's free as long as you've paid for the game, which conveniently goes on sale very often. No hashtag ad, I just like promoting games that I enjoy. And that's it for me today. Now, if you'll excuse me, I need to go have a talking to with my son about his book report. I don't, I don't, I don't like that. to die for my sins. Preferably somebody I don't have an emotional attachment to. Most intense duck duck goose ever, right? Duck, 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 duck. Sacrifice! Ah!